welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're going to be taking a break from the budget series to play some uh, more janky brews. I wanted to have some fun as opposed to giving serious thought into deck building. Um, so this one here is I open for Nisa's Let's Build a Deck with it uh, with it themed. Um, so the whole deck is built around Nisa who shakes the world or in our deck it's Nisa who bane fires. Um, so Nisa's uh, static ability makes whenever we tap a forest for mana we add an additional mana. Um, it can animate lands and then uh, we get to search our library for any number of forests. Um, so it's basically a ramp deck that's looking to bane fire our opponent. So our mana base is pretty much all forest, a single mountain that we can fetch with thematic compass and then uh, some rootbound crags and some stomping grounds. There is an option as well, we can play solid mono green and just play chromatic lanterns, but I think I like this version and I want to try it out first, might change it. So we have more of a ramp creature package as opposed to lands, might be incorrect in this particular build, but we'll give it a shot. So the rest of the deck we got our, our slothy sloth that can put a land into play, so ramps us out like that. Uh, green staple landware elves, Four bane fires because uh, we're serious and competitive. <laughs> uh, a couple of incubation druids. Um, this is weird. My Siri just randomly started talking to me. Uh, NSA is listening all the time. Uh, so a couple of incubation druids, uh, some paradise druids. So just full ramp package here. Uh, thematic compass, which is pretty easy for us to flip and get rid of attackers, but it can also help us just dig for more lands. Uh, I want to try out Elvish Rejuvenator just to dig it deep for like pseudo card draw by getting lands. Um, a couple Gift of Paradises for the life gain. Maybe correct to play a couple more of these. Uh, Sylvan Awaken to animate our lands. Kind of pairs with the whole Nisa themed. Some Karns to draw us cards. Uh, one Multani as a just huge threat that if they don't exile we can keep bringing it back. Uh, Palaka Worms as a top end life gain. Keeps us alive longer. And uh, again, just draws us cards, and then plain wide celebration. Um, so this is a, a multi-useful tool. Uh, we can create tokens, we can get stuff back, uh, we can proliferate to almost ultimate Nisa faster, and we can gain some life. So let's take it for a spin. I honestly have no clue how this deck will perform, but that's the fun part of Bruin. Alrighty, so sorry about that. Dog uh, likes to, when I, I'm in the, the office pl uh, playing magic. She sleeps all day and then uh, grabs attention that way. So this hand's uh, a little weird. I think we mulligan. We don't want to see three bane fires. Okay, this hand's a little bit better. Uh, I'll probably keep the other paradise druid. Guarantees us the turn four Nisa. Uh, opponent is not about the fun so paradise to druid can also create red mana which is nice okay so this is likely some sort of black white list so that's five six mana next turn i'm not gonna attack because they can't actually do anything um I'd rather just keep the mana right now. I want to get Palaka Worm down. At least it replaces itself. Okay, so we have the elf. If they don't kill elf, then we have Palaka Worm. We cry if they have Cry Carnarium. Probably just scoop if they have for the cry here. This deck's not about interacting as much with your opponent. We don't really have removal or anything like that. The deck is about Banefire. Blowing them out of the game before they get a chance. Okay, so let's play a Palaka Worm. Okay, so 
the Nebraska's contempt there. They will flip the treasure map. So Nisa's a good draw here. Uh, we'll just attack in here. No sense of throwing out the Orbeal Grazer. Can't attack. So one card that I'm not playing in the list is um, the three mana dinosaur. Oh, that's disgusting. That's so good. Um, the three mana dinosaur that lets me play more lands. I'd play it, but I don't have any and don't want to spend wild cards on it because this is more of a fun deck than anything serious. Um, so I would just concede it there. The Massacre Girl play was not something we expected. Alrighty. So let's go game two. Uh, I like this hand a lot better. So we actually had a pretty sweet opener. So Arbiel Grazer. Play the rootbound Craig. Here. Paradise Druid and the Elf. Oh, it's interesting. Not Defender, it's just an O of three. Something worth keeping in mind if we ever get a uh, pump effects on it. Okay, so opponents on a bant list. That might be interesting for us to play to get lands in the hand. So, Carnal draws some more. Grazer doesn't do much for us here. Just pass the turn. So we have six mana next turn. Uh, go for the Karn here. Next time. Just past the turn here. We're going to adapt this on the end step. So another Bane Fire would be good to get rid of Deputy. Ooh, opponent's playing a Bant High Alert deck. Take the three damage. Uh, actually, misplay on our part. We could have blocked it. Just pass the turn here. Just buy some time. I think we're going to get rid of these Arbeals. Uh, this looks like they have a pump spell. They can have that, uh, plus 07. And Surge Mare. It's actually a lot of power. Pretty cool deck by the opponent. Pass the turn here. So 
So we're going to adapt this here. Yeah, so that's what we were worried about. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, good game. Does not. We are just getting blown out by the jank, and I'm loving it. Massacre girl into tower defense alpha strike. Alright, let's change this deck up a bit. We need card draw. Uh, grazers aren't doing it. Uh, let's go. Let's go explore package. So, Merfolk. Let's add J lights. Let's ask lockers. Let's go up a Karn as well. Go down a thematic compass. All right, let's try this out. So in this deck, the explore ability is basically digging for more land. So it's pseudo card draw. So we just want to play around with that, see what works best. I know Ali Eldrazi was building a Nisa deck, uh, mono green with like the car, the uh, new Karn. So, like this hand already a lot better. Oh, Footlight Fiends. Let's see what we can do here. No blocks. Okay, opponent missing there is good for us. Attacks. Actually, we probably should have attacked there. We're not going to block. See if opponent has Judith. Okay, Dreadhorde Butcher. Here I'm going to trade. They're going to kill the Landmore Elf most likely. But that gets out of hand pretty quick. Okay, that doesn't untap our lands. It's worth realizing with that. So, Karn will give us a buffer. This goes to six. Uh, the Judith. Um, so here we need to decide if we want Multani or if we want it's pretty good follow up. Uh, let's just plus Karn here. Use this one as a buffer. They'll give us Paradise Druid here. So here we're going to play out Nisa. Gives us the option to double block. These don't trigger off Judith. It's actually a pretty cool interaction. And Grath's pretty sweet. They will be getting a big uh, demon. 
Ah, <laughs> that's nuts. Okay, they screwed up there. So that's one, two, three, four, five with the Judith. So I do this because this makes the tokens useless. Okay, they sack our land, which kind of sucks. Just plus Nisa. Behold, nature's true power. Gonna attack in here. And just pass the turn here. Next turn I'm gonna get the Multani back. Tiny's big enough that I don't give us a turn before they can do anything. Okay, so this is Cracto Sacrifice. Deals one damage to any target. So here I'm not because this will do kill it then. Underestimate my fortitude. This will aid us. So we get the Multani here. I don't think I could win. So tap two. So tap two. These two. This gives us eight power. I think it's just 10 power. That's not enough. So let's just animate one of these. Just past the turn. So they'll deal. T they can kill Nisa with the Footlight Fiend and then they can kill Karn. So it's pretty good for them. Oh, this has reach. So Karn actually lives. No fire. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How? How? How did they lose nothing? <laughs> I'm losing in the most unique ways possible. Some next level, uh. There are greater battles to fight. Rakdos, kill my board, they lose nothing. Six twelve, yeah, I'm dead. I will fight for my friends. Alright, so clearly I am a top tier uh Jank finder. Those were some ridiculous, ridiculous uh, draws or just like outcomes. I 
I did not think I'd be firing up losing to Massacre Girl, High Alert, and uh, Big Daddy Rakdos. Give it one more. Wanted to try to Bane Fire at least once. Uh, we'll keep this. So, we can Incubation Druid, turn 3 Karn. Uh, Mono Blue is something we haven't seen in a while. So we have no interaction for these flyers. We took out our slots. So this game is going to go terrible. Mono blue is always kill the dark. But we're ramping hard. This is the problem a lot. I think we need to play this deck instead of Banefire. Just play uh, Mono, like a uh, Simic, so you can use uh, Hydroid Crisis. It would address a lot of the issues of drawing like the wrong half of the deck. Play like Rivers Rebuke as well as a bounce. So one, two, three, four, five, that's not enough to cast Karn. Don't give us the land here. This card has been very, very underwhelming. Just play. Incubation Druid. Karn basically saves us 6 damage. Probably 6 and then 1. They give us another draw Karn, I'll take it. Oh, they're just going for face. Six seven. They play into land next turn. That puts us on a two turn clock. One two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, even a bane fire is not going to do enough. So they're presenting lethal. They get their pick. I'll make use of that later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't get enough for Nisa. This deck feels bad. All right, one more. I'm a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I feel like you need blue for Hydrate Crisis, or maybe in Splash White just for some sweepers. Uh, yeah, we'll try. We can use Banefire as removal if need be. 
the deck is very linear, but also very slow, so it kind of loses on both fronts. Okay. I'm gonna go Druid here, just because it can block if need be. They're not gonna take the trade. If they do, then I'm fine. Uh, I'm just going to adapt this on the end step. One, three, seven. All right, Gorkla, I'm bigger than you. Merfolk can uh, help clean the top of our deck. Ooh. Okay, the jank's real. Uh, we need to kill that, so... We do not win with this on the field. Try to close this out as quick as possible. Okay. Everything is okay. So we can make this very big. Branch Walker. Play out Karn. Karn can serve as a distraction. the Nisa. It's probably a mistake. Just pass turn. Next turn we can Nisa. If there is a next turn. That's fine. We don't really have anything. You have anything so powerful? Um, here I'm just gonna get rid of this. We lose the Karn, but then this is the biggest thing on the field, and it makes yeah, opponent concedes. It's quite aggressive by them, and then giving us Nisa seems like a wrong play. Anyways, that's the deck. Likely need some tuning or just a complete overhaul. Uh, don't craft this. Save your wild cards. If you have the the uh, Nisas, you can play it, but don't spend any wild cards on this one. Hope you guys enjoy. And as always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.